emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here again. Festa 67's workshop. Welcome to part four of the Bandai Star Wars AT-AT kit for emodels.co.uk. Now, we've got up to, if I remember rightly, at the end of part three, we'd got all the legs assembled. We've got all the body bits assembled. So we're now at that stage where we start thinking about electricery and modifications and things like that. So I'm not going to need the instructions as much today. Uh, going to get the drill out. Oh, the cute Tamiya electric drill. Yeah, it's cute. And I'm going to be basically dismantling everything I've built so far, getting it bagged up into its respective bits, ready for setting up for paint. So I'm going to be dismantling, after all of that effort, things like the legs, and that I'm breaking them back down so that I can bag them and then put them on sticks at some point and prime them like a complete leg together and so on so we've got his head so there'll be a bag for that and I've done one leg and that's kind of what I tend to do is I just section the leg down because obviously there's going to be moving parts here <coughs> excuse me and I don't want to get paint on there and then when you move the part you see unpainted materials so I tend especially with a band eye because it's clipped together is I'll break it down into little units see so that will then go on a clip that will be painted as one because there's only the little feet of Rooney there so I'll fold them down a tad like that give it all a, a shot with the airbrush but anything like the knee joints and things like that and behind this plate the minute you move the leg yeah you got it you're gonna have unpainted material so that's what I'm gonna be doing today is getting some of this bagged up and ready but also mapping out some of the wiring so we'll do one leg on camera of dismantling to show you how I start the process rolling now it could make a few people squirm but hey you know I'll just find an edge where I can prop something up like so and then just start popping little pieces off of said kit then I use a spudger just to dissemble now I'm going to leave that bit on because it will just come out like that and I'll be able to get around that with the airbrush okay and just gently lift and then that will pop that out of there and uh, will work one of those one of those one of those like so have you a bit of that and then the same down here as we've been doing on the others is just gently pop the leg apart like so Get me spudger, pop that in there, like that, like that, like so, and then that is another leg, 
ready for painting. See? And then I'll get all of those bits sorted and ready. Yeah. Like that. Number three. And then we've got to figure out wiring now. In here, I want to light this bit in there. So I'm going to need to drill a hole through here. Yeah, I am that brutal. Like so. Like so. Blow that out. Just pop the spudger in and separate the neck now. And I'm working my way through. EZ, because I want a light in here. That's what I want to do. Like that, see, so now, by separating that, I should have two holes. One there, and one there. Like that. And then what that's going to do, is I'll use a bit of bit of old Cat5 network cable just to give you an idea of what I mean is you're gonna have a wire coming through said neckage come out that way come want, want to go in that way and split them as they come through don't worry about the length for whether or not these will it because this isn't the actual finished wire that's going to go in there. This is just so that I can show you guys what I'm up to. Separate the body, and then you're going to come through the front there. So there's already two tiny little holes so I'm gonna just put on wider them like so and then send one in there and one in there come through the way and then test fit the neck piece back in its spot. I want to come underneath. Do I want to come underneath there? Oh, let's have a good question. They're above that, so let's come above it. Yeah. So, we'll do that. Put that in there like so. Just to persuade it. That's it. And then we can start laying the wire in where we're going to feed it. And I want to go pointy stick. So you can see, I want to have it coming through here. And then around here, above that fitting, out that way. Okay. Because I don't want it to pinch anywhere, see. So I want to do that. Oh, a bit like that. Like so, let's just pull that one round the corner and then make sure that when that comes through his noggin, it ain't gonna pinch anywhere. That's it. One of them like that. One of them like that. And then in the way, like so. Give it a little tuck of rune in the alt like that. And again, you know, this is just a trial fit at the moment. This isn't the finished wiring. 
just in case any of you are out there cringing already this is just to see that the idea will work like that like so Just make sure that I'm not pinching anywhere. Like that. Yeah. So that'll work. Like that. Would help if I'd put that in the right spot, wouldn't I, on the back? What a doofus. This is the peril of filming at four o'clock in the morning. I'm half asleep. Yeah. We know. We know faster. Where is it? Yeah. Let's just get that bit of neckage where it should lift. That's it. Go on. Don't argue with me. Because you'll only lose. Determined not to put that bit on there, and I doofus. So, should we go to uh, round three? That's it, come on. them together. No. Tell you what, I'll be done with it. Let's twist them together. you in the right place that's it like so you in there like that and that's reasonably what we're after apart from the large Large gap. Where's it? I think. Like that. See. And then the wire comes through. That bit sits in like that. Right. They'll then come round into the little groove. Like so. A little tiny LED will get connected, which will sit right about there. Okay, so all of that wire that I've got poking out will be gone, but the LED is going to get soldered in here. And then when it comes to doing the, the finished wiring, you then pull it all back this way so that you end up with 
the LED is going to be sat just about there. Okay, so you'll only have a tiny little wire coming along that will then go up round through his neckage and go round into the body of said ATAT. So that's what's going to happen with that. See, and then once that's all in there. That'll all be painted and then his head will go together and you'll have bendy, bendy, bendy and all of that. But you won't see none of the wires. Okay, so we've then got to make, well I say you've got to make, that's actually got a hole that goes right away through that. So I'm as happy as a proverbial hog in slop there because that will now come straight through into there. Thusly, right, hey, see, give that a tuggage. See, have you a bit of that? See, so now, I'll shove his head on. For those of you that haven't done lighting before, this might all be a bit daunting to you. So, if you see someone actually doing it, it could make you feel a bit more comfortable about having a go yourself. So, yeah. I know as well as you do you want to have a go see so obviously it's not fully home yet but that would go through like so and then that body's gonna sit on there like that ignore his iris there falling off but as you can see you can't you can't now see any other wiring because it's all gonna be hidden and I reckon I can have this as a lift off bit completely jump and then in here it's going to be a circuit board and a battery and everything's going to sit in there and they just lift that bit off like so I reckon that'll work happy days lift off, lift on legs will all be fixed to the base so that'll be super secure Nice bit of heat shrink on all of that lot. And uh, hopefully, I'm sure James and, and, and that will feel comfortable popping that apart if they need to pop a battery in. They shouldn't, shouldn't have to do it often. I can make it a little bit more, how can I say, less of a resistance fit for them. Figure out what it is that's actually pegging where pegs are engaging and remove them and then it will just be a slide fit for them then yeah yeah I reckon that'll work yeah right that's his canister salt with them so we can strip that all down now after all of that effort of getting it together this all comes apart now <laughs> yeah I know so we can lose that we can lose that <laughs> um, excuse me give that a twist of rune like so pull the whole neck apart like that have you some of that pull that out lose that off of there lose that off of there that's his head all done and that is my tracer wire ready for its next job which is going to be going through the body so we can put the smaller head parts back now into my bag because I don't want to lose any of the pegs or anything like that I'll rest that together just so that I don't lose track of it pop that in there uh, I think that was off his iris wasn't it that thing was it off his iris yeah it was wasn't it yeah it goes around about there somewhere oh, that's the one in there yeah because that wasn't a particularly great fit last time if I remember rightly that was a needs modifying ah because we're putting tubage and wiring around there wouldn't it that was it 
Duh. So what have we got to go in there? We've got exhausts. So that's got to have a couple of holes drilled for them. And then we've got to have LEDs in here. So let's get the old marker out. Because if I remember rightly, we decided one in there, wasn't it? And then there was the four legs. So let's get an idea of where a nip, hip joint lands on there. That's what we want to decide where the uh, lights are going to go for them, don't we? Yeah. Right. So we've got a pin. A pin that's going to go in there. Have you a bit of that. And a leg is going to scoop. Because we want to shoot some light down each leg, don't we? Yes, Carl. Down the way. Like that. Yeah, that's what we was going to do. Yeah. Yeah, down like that. Yeah. Just make sure I'm looking at his legs the right way around. Pop that back in there just for a second. Like that. So, his uh, leg is going to go there. So there's an LED. Now do we want it on the outside of his leg? As we do really, don't we? Scooting down about there. Okay, well that don't give us a lot of room, does it? But, we live and learn. we got that one right in the middle. We've got luggage, luggage and luggage. Okay, can't go too close there because of the taper. So it's going to be where them circles are. One there. You will come off. Perhaps not. One there. Like that. And then do the same there. Shove you up underneath. We want a similar thing around about that area. Okay, so we're going to go there and there, like that. So that's a bit of LED edge, and then we've got some exhaust pipes that are going to come out the top so we'll have I might do them next to each other to make them different to the Mark 1 because the one I built for myself they come out either side but I ran a nice little pair of pipes I'll work on that one make the E-Models one a bit different on it we've then got fold out deck here uh, I reckon a bit of I'll tell you what let's do that with a pencil actually yeah because I've got a floor about there yeah don't know how, how well that's showing up. Uh, then what are we going to have? I reckon we'll 
reckon a bit of a bit of a flog humming out of here. And a staircase coming diagonal. Like that. Okay, so the floor's gonna stick out a bit. This here is a rectangular panel that would normally hide all of this, but I'm gonna have that folded down so it's gonna stick out along the side like that with a couple of bits of rope or metal stuff. Uh, styrene floor will go there, do a set of photo etch stairs, get the old photo etch bender out for them bad boys. Stick a floor on here that overhangs a bit to give this area probably twice the width that it's got, just the frackers each side. That's exhausts. We're going to have a, behind these stairs you're going to have a bit of a, a door, a roller shutter type affair that'll open up and stuff goes in, stuff goes out. All of these will be highlighted. You got cat decals going on. A number. <laughs> the significance of that question mark is going to become apparent. That's all I'm going to say. And then on the back here we're going to have all kinds of osage, tubes, gubbins, so I'm going to have little holes with pipes coming out and and all of that. So that's what we're going to do. So I don't like to think I'll dwell too long. So I'll just drill me out and be done with it like that. Some people think about it, but Fester doesn't. He just goes in like a bull in a china shop. So you don't need that in there now. See, and that's a fair old thickness of gubbins there, so let's get that in there, like that, and that's my light sources going in, so that's what we're trying to do. He says optimistically, try not to drill a hole in his finger. Because if anyone is going to do it, it's going to be me. What's that? I think once I've got it drilled. And then send it how I want it to go. Like that. And then just nick the excess off that I don't want. And there's going to be a bulb and an holder going in here. Okay, so it'll come down a bit more and finish off in a nice base. But I just want to get the holes drilled. I'm not worried cosmetically or anything like that. It's early days yet. This is its first drilling stage. Normally what makes Davy scream this is when he sees me doing this. But I don't mind. Like I know what I'm doing is what I normally say to him. But it's just making all the necessary little little holes where I want them to go. Like that. And that is where all the LEDs are going to live. So we got that. We got two holes going through here. And all. So we need that off of there. If I remember rightly. Let's get me spooja. Like that. And then I've got two holes going in here. Because we decided that that's where the exhausts are going to go. Like 
There's people out there now going, he's just drilled hole in a Star Wars kit. He must be mad. Yep, I am. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, we wanted them drilled. And we've got them drilled. So we're going to send two massive pipes up there with stacks. The holes are a little bit skewed, but I'm not worried about that because the pipes themselves are quite thick. So I've got to enlarge them yet. Let's just get, let's get the holes in there so that I can see whereabouts they're going to come through on the inside, which is clear. Uh, what else have I got? I've got tubing and gubbins, haven't I? That's what I was on about. So, uh, I stuck his arrows somewhere, didn't I? Where did I put that? Let's just put the leg away. That's that, that's that, that's that, and that's that. That's all he said. Oh, there it is, it's already on there. Book. Alright, oh, and I've got flappage and all of that lot down around there. Okay, we've got. I'll tell you what. Just so that I remember. Like that. Uh, there's a leg that comes across them the way. So we want possibly an hole there coming over to there or up there. Yeah, let's shove it up in there. Oh, they're already in there, aren't they? Happy days! So shall we go for. A bit of drillage in there. Like that. One in there. Like that. Now, would you reckon they would come out of there? I reckon so. Like that. So that's them. Two of those, two of those. Yeah, I'll have you a bit of that. Like that, let's just tighten that up. So that's that. Tube and a tube. I won't go too mad on the front just yet. Uh, yeah, single light down the middle, nice white one. Four tiny little yellows, ka-ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. Uh, Could do with a red light on his iris, couldn't we? That can go in there. Put a little square one in there, so let's elongate that. Like that. So he's going to have that, he's going to have that. He's got a bit of reddish going on up there. Uh, da -da, da -da. Do we put a couple of tiny ones up in here or do we just put a single? What do you reckon? I reckon a single. Right about there. So let's square that down. Like that. And that, I'll do that. We then got all of this is gonna be lit, so you're gonna have lights there. Don't really feel that I need anything under his head, to be honest with you. Because you're gonna have one shining down on top of his nut. You're going to have the ones from his legs there. Mm. 
decisions, decisions, decisions. Or do we have one coming out from in there? But we're going to have that lit, ain't we? Oh, what do we reckon, guys? Let me think on that. Yeah, let me think on it. But that will give you an idea of what we're on about. Because you're going to have a light coming in through there. Like that, yeah. So, so I need to drill that through all the way. coming through from the front for his head you'll then have the wires coming up from his lights through there and they'll all be meeting on a PCB that sits on there so that's what I'm going to be uh, playing with so I reckon that now we know that where the wires are going to be, we can start picking bits up, putting them on the sticks ready for paint. Because I am at that stage now where I can prime. And that's the stage we've been wanting to get to. So I can prime. Um, yeah, I can prime and I can, I do believe, yeah, I can prime, make up me tubes and things like that and get them in place, make up me exhausts, so we'll have a Greebly box raid. Um, and do that so you can see what I'm doing with greebles um, probably then look at additional parts I've got some greebles ready that I've had a look at 
in there. So I've had a provisional raid of the Greeblies box and just got some grills, vents and various bits. I've got a dashboard that's going to be a computer screen and I'm also going to 3D print some bits as well. So look out for me doing that. So I think I'll call it on this episode. I know it's been a little bit short, sweet and to the point. But this is the process I go through. And it's not necessarily great viewing, I suppose. I don't know, you know. There might be people out there that haven't done this before, but... It just lets you get to know my thought processes when I come to do modifying of kits. And I'm very haphazard. I'll just look at something. I see what I want to do. And I just get the drill out and drill on. And then I worry about the consequences after. But I know what I've done there is a good marker for what I need to do. So I can finesse all of this now go through my LED supplies, pull out all the little covers and caps and inserts and all of that lot that I'll need, all my resistors, and and then I can line everything up and then we'll do a mock-up fit of it all so you guys can see what we're, we're looking at doing. And uh, we'll do a little uh, trial run and sit and do that together. So I'll park company there. I'll bid you farewell. Short episode, I know. But in the next episode, you'll get to see me spray booth set up, how I do that, what I use to paint. For those of you that are new to it, you know, a couple of different airbrushes that I use and just little things that I've picked up over the years of doing stuff that may help you out. And um, we'll see how you feel about it. So until then... As usual, thank you all very, very, very much for joining me. Um, thank you all again for some of the lovely comments. Um, it is nice uh, to get some feedback, you know, and you're all tuning in. You seem to be liking what I'm doing, so hopefully, you know, this will give you an idea of, you know, don't be afraid of modifying a kit. Have a go, have a play do something different and uh, give it a try so I'll catch you in part five part five Ooh, bye bye for now